probably don't need that. Well, welcome. Today we're doing a, going to do a cooking demonstration on fall and winter root vegetables and fall and winter squashes. So I brought a different array of different uh, squashes and root vegetables with me today. And one of the things at this time of the year, although here in New England, late September, today happened to be an unseasonably hot day, but this weekend we're going to have colder weather, and, and colder weather, and in the cold weather we feel like eating more root vegetables, the winter squashes, they're heavier, they're denser than the summer squashes and the summer fruits and vegetables that we're used to. These are the vegetables that'll keep us warm during the winter, during these cold days of fall. So I brought some butternut squash, some wonderful beets and beet greens. Come on and join us. We're having a cooking demo. A delicata squash, which most people are not used to. This is one of my favorites. It has a very thin skin, so you don't need to peel it. It's, one, it's a great vegetable. I have some wonderful carrots, some yams, purple potato, or I think they actually got a blue potato, acorn squash, and a spaghetti squash here. These are, and I bought a stock of Brussels sprouts. Now these vegetables, as I mentioned, these are the vegetables that are available to us in the fall and the winter. They're very dense and they're heavy and they, they give us warmth during these winter months or these fall and winter months. And Brussels sprouts also. We're having a cooking demonstration. You can join us. Brussels sprouts, if you look at the way the leaves are all curled around each other, they're very tight. This is great for us for the winter time. So we notice in the summertime we have a lot of energy and we're putting out a lot of energy. We're out, we want to be out and about, the sun is shining a lot. But in the winter time we feel more, uh, it's coming in, our energy comes in. We feel that naturally as mammals being on this planet. And that's actually what the Brussels sprout, if you look at a lot of these, uh, your cabbages and a lot of your vegetables for the winter, they're dense, they're more in, um, introverted, they're bringing their energy in. And these are, the, and these are the fruits and vegetables that are the vegetables that we need to be eating during the fall and the winter. That help maintain, keep us more grounded, keep us more in balance, and help us sustain our energy for the long, cold winters. So the first recipe we're going to go do today, and I have some recipes if you haven't gotten one, you need to bring that, uh, take that home. But the first one we're going to do today, I'm going to get this out of the way, is we're going to roast these winter vegetables. This is simple and easy. Something you can come home at the end of the day, it doesn't take long at all to dice up a, a, some of these winter vegetables. That's one reason why I like um, delicata squash. And I don't have the kabocha squash with me, but it looks like a buttercup squash. Their skin is very thin, you don't have to peel. It makes it that much easier when we're getting home at the end of the day to um, to cook our dinner. So I already have one delicata that I cut in half. And all we have to do from here is I just take a big spoon and just take out all the seeds. And I'll do this with all my different squashes. Just take a big spoon, cut out the seeds. That easy. Thank you. All right, once that's all cleaned out, I'm just going to cut the ends of it. We'll put these aside, put the ends, throw it aside, and then I just cut it up into chunks. Nothing special, nothing, you don't have to be too extravagant with this. We just want to cut them up in some chunks, watch the fingers, and throw it into the pan. And just throw them in, cut them up, throw them in the pan. I'm going to do a few butter, um, Brussels sprouts. I'm just going to cut these in break these off. We'd want to wash these, take off some of the outer layers if you, if you need to. These look pretty healthy. And I'm going to throw that in. I also brought a beet with me. I have some wonderful beets here. Well, I don't peel my beets. I just cut them off, cut the stalk off, cut the stem off. The beet greens are wonderful. Saute them with some olive oil and garlic. Wonderful green. But the beets, after I've washed it, cut it off. I'm just going to cut this up in some chunks. If you don't like how the red beets bleed all over everything, if you ever tried the golden beets, they taste just like the red beets, but they don't have this, they don't leave the red color all over your kitchen counter, and they don't bleed all over all your other food. But I'm just going to cut these, continue cutting these up into small chunks, throw them in my pan. I also have fennel. None of the farmers had the full fennel, but I cut this in half last night for dinner, so I brought the other half. With fennel, you just cut off the top, cut the bottom, and 
and this is usually two bolts. And then just cut it down the middle, and this is what you're left with. We just want to cut out this little um, part right here. Just cut out that, leave that behind. I'm going to put that over here. And then the fennel, fennel I'm just going to slice it up. And I would add that also. Now normally with something, with so many here, and then you can cut up some more. You cut up some carrots, some parsnips would be great in this. You could add peppers or onions, whatever it is that you like. Um, some sweet potatoes or yams are also wonderful roasted. But I'm going to do these for now. 